we start the episode at Jellystone Hospital. There we see Cindy Bear do a handful of jobs that involve helping others. Afterwards, we see Cindy's schedule booked and she gets asked to do things. Cindy continues doing work while being overwhelmed like Frankie from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. When everything was done, an exhausted Cindy walks home only to realize that Jellystone Book Club was in session. What is worse is that Cindy didn't read chapter 5 of a Fred Flintstone romance novel. Cindy was asked if she read the book and she doesn't answer. A character warns that if she didn't read the book, she'll be shunned forever like Peter Potamus. Worried to the bone, Cindy lies that she did read the book and left to get beverages. Cindy needs a plan to stall them and she gets an idea after looking at jelly inside the fridge. With her idea, Cindy walks upstairs to make a jelly experiment. When she was finished, she brought her beverages to show the others. It was revealed to be a blaster, and Cindy uses it to turn the club members into gelatin so she can have more time to read the book. Instead, Cindy falls asleep until the next morning, waking up late for work. Before leaving, Cindy promises the club members that she'll turn them back after she's done with the book. At the hospital, Cindy was with Doggy Daddy and Oggy Doggy, needing time to finish the book. Without thinking, Cindy turns the father and daughter into gelatin, promising to fix them after she's done with the book. Just when Cindy starts reading again, she is interrupted by Mayor Huckleberry Hound, who just came to talk about his day. An illusion of Cindy's book gets to her head so badly that Cindy turns Huckleberry Hound into gelatin so she can continue reading the book. Characters keep appearing and Cindy turns all of them into gelatin, including Boo Boo the Bear. At this point, I think Cindy descended into villainy. Yogi Bear came to Cindy to discuss his will, but that would be his final mistake as her patience depletes. Cindy turns Yogi's legs into jelly and she chases him out of the hospital. During her pursuit on Yogi, Cindy turns other innocent Jellystone residents into gelatin. Yogi accidentally causes himself to fall on his bum, with Cindy finally catching up. Yogi begs Cindy not to turn him into jelly, but she does it anyway. With all Jellystone residents turned into gelatin, the town is now quiet. Too quiet. Luckily for Cindy, she now finished the book without any interruptions. When Cindy finished the book, she worked desperately to undo what she did, but nothing works. After three years, she cracks the code by adding a reverse switch to the gelatin gun. Cindy turns the book club members back to normal and they asked her what happened. Cindy lies that they had brain freeze from the beverages she gave them, but she treated them afterwards. They believe her. In the last scene, the characters laugh about chapter 5 of the Fred Flintstone novel as we cut outside. The last line has one of them look at their phone, asking why it says three years have passed. The end. Thank you for watching. For more episode recaps, subscribe and more importantly, share the channel for more. I'm Jacob Kasarjan, and have a nice day.